welcome to today's meditation. Um, my name is Shannon. We're going to practice together for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and today's meditation is about accepting the moment, um, accepting where we are right now. Now, this is a really hard thing for us to do because it's not something that we want to do. Um, accepting the moment means not only accepting it and being okay with it, but finding a level of rejoicement, um, finding a level of happiness, um, joy, um, as though you chose this moment, um, as though you chose your situation where you are. Um, and I know a lot of you are thinking, okay, she's crazy. I would not plan for the world to, to shut down. Um, but if we know that everything in this world happens for a reason, and it is for not only our greater good, but our greater happiness, then we can really start to move past the things that I don't understand. Um, until I know that I know everything, until I have all the answers of the world, there might be a part of this that I don't understand, that I don't see why this is happening. Um, and I love this quote from Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu wrote the Tao Te Ching. Um, and he wrote, be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. So if I can accept this moment as though I chose it, then there isn't that fighting, there isn't that resistance, and there's a sense of ease and peace. Um, if you think about if you're swimming upstream and the current is really heavy, you're gonna be exhausted really quickly as opposed to the current taking you with it. And life's no different. You know, if we fight every single thing in life because we're not happy with it, because we don't like the way things are, then life is exhausting. And so this meditation is about finding a sense of peace where you are, maybe even a sense of joy. You know, this is an opportunity for a lot of us to recognize where in our life were we lacking. We're in a life where we necessarily, ne you know, neglecting. Um, if I was somebody that worked all the time, I never got to sleep in, I never got to spend time with my family, my loved ones. If I never appreciated every moment and my health and my well-being and, you know, the ability to go to the grocery store and buy toilet paper and eggs, you know, if you don't appreciate those things, until sometimes they're taken away, we don't realize how blessed we are. And so this is an opportunity for all of us to look at our life from a different angle, a different perspective. So I want you to come into a comfortable seated pose. Um, I'm comfortable on the floor. You know, if you wanna be up on a blanket, if you wanna be in a cozy chair, um, whatever, or wherever you need to be, I want you to be there. And I just want you to take a moment and close your eyes and be supported. Feel that your spine is supported. Feel comfortable. Now in your meditation, I want you to have an intent today. What do you wanna learn from this experience? What do you hope to gain Maybe it's just a sense of peace with yourself, some peace about the current situation. Maybe you're not ready to find joy in this situation. Maybe we can start off just finding peace in what is happening. And it's not that I don't have to act, but I don't have to react to everything. And that's a big difference. And then 
maybe saying a few words of gratitude for this moment where you are today what's going on in your life today recognizing what i have is the first step in being appreciative and and looking at your life from all the angles you know the year 2020 is a year of balance and i think that's why a lot of this is happening is that we've been a very unbalanced society. We work a lot, we're on social media a lot. We don't we don't understand the importance of stillness, the importance of settling, the importance of having both action and rest of interaction and solitude. Both of those things are so vital. And without them, my life isn't balanced. And I think that's why so many of us are, are struggling because our body is always in this constant state of anxiety. And so finding this balance in your breathing Allowing your in-breath to carry you up. Allowing the out-breath to carry you down. And this balance in your breath is as crucial and vital as balance in your life. If I kept taking breaths in and never gave breath away, it wouldn't feel very good. If I just gave breath away and I never took any in, it would feel pretty horrible. And so if I do everything for everybody, if I'm always going and active, that's like just taking breath in and in and in and in. And if I just give out, if I just do for myself, if I don't take care of being helpful and loving and giving, then it's as though I'm just releasing and I'm not having this balance in my life. And so finding a breath balance is the first step to finding a life balance. And just recognizing how your breath feels as it enters the nostrils. And how it feels as it exits the nostrils. And just start feeling your breath. Feeling the changes in your body. Feeling as your ribs dimensionally open up as you exhale. Do they close up in the same way? Is there a balance of movement internally with your breath? And then maybe offer a dedication to the world that all beings find peace in their current situation. That all beings find joy in this moment and the coming moments. And that all beings can accept this moment, this life, this situation as though they chose it. And when you find that acceptance, notice how it feels in your body. Notice if there's this sense of relaxation that takes over, as though all of a sudden you've been riding hard uphill 
and you finally get this opportunity to just coast. Let the bike and the ride go with you. Where I don't have to move my legs, I can sit, feel the wind on your face. I'm not having to work an effort through life. And that's what fighting our situation is like. It's, it's constant effort. And most of this effort is unaware effort. So by the end of the day, we can literally do nothing and we're absolutely and totally exhausted because we're not accepting our moments. I'm not accepting my situation I'm not even working towards finding a level of joy and peace inside the situation. And finding the joy in your current situation is important. Finding where something might be a little different, but actually kind of relaxing. So I have been able to make nice dinners for, you know, my, my boyfriend and his children. And that's been really enjoyable. You know, and I normally don't have the time to make everybody really nice dinners. And so the fact that I've been able to do that has been lovely. And I've had the opportunity to sleep in a little bit which my body really appreciates as well. And so maybe recognizing some of the, the joys that you've experienced in this moment of solitude. Maybe it's brought you closer to some of your family members. Maybe you've had the opportunity to spend more quality time with your children. Maybe I've been able to take care of myself and even exercise a little, stretch a little. And now just spend the few next moments just walking your attention through your body. Maybe along the way, noticing where you might be holding some tension any of the muscles in your body that are tightening. And then recognizing or even asking that part of your body, what's going on? Can it relax? Does it have the ability to let go? And as you're here a little longer, notice if the energy in your body feels any different from where you started. Maybe your breath feels a little lighter. If your thoughts enter your head, just let them flutter in and out without offering resistance or criticism. Be accepting and loving of where you are, where this meditation meets you. It might meet you with a little bit of resistance. You might even feel angry about the idea that I'm not going to accept this moment. But if that's where you are, that's okay. But recognize how it feels in your body. And what is
here's the alternative. You know, accepting the moment as it is doesn't mean I'm doing nothing. It doesn't mean I sit idly by and not try to provide for my family or find an income. It means that I meet every moment where it is without fighting, just responding. If there is an action, you know, if I spill a glass of water, I don't have to yell and scream and panic about it. I grab a towel and wipe it up. So recognizing that there might be an action, but not a reaction, not a, you know, not something where you're fighting what's going on, but you're simply moving forward into a beneficial response to what is coming up. Sometimes people look at accepting your moment as weakness and actually it's a great strength because it means that anything in life can come your way and you're not going to weaken your body, weaken your mind, weaken your immune system by fighting needlessly against the wind, you know, against the water. It's finding a way to walk with life. So life can help you, guide you, support you. And you might want to continue this meditation even longer than this video goes. And I invite you to stay in this place of quiet, meditative practice for as long as is comfortable. And maybe come back here often and reassess what's happening in the body. See where I'm needlessly exerting energy that doesn't need to be exerted. I'm just taking every moment one moment at a time, one breath at a time. Thank you so much for joining me in this meditation today. Again, I invite you to stay in this meditation as long as you can. Namaste.